Hello everyone, my name is Reclusive Z, and I'm back with more Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl Radiophobia 3. I last left off down in the Cordon after uh, Sidorovich had given me, you know, my new CS3A armor, and uh, I turned in a bunch of documents and stuff, and now I'm back up in the bar. I'm gonna talk to Barkeep real quick, offload some equipment, and we'll move on with the quests in the quest line. Marked one. You brought the documents from X-18? Good. The situation is becoming clearer. As I expected, this brain scorcher is man-made. It's a Kamenov experimental emitter, and its components were made exactly in X-18. These documents refer to Lab X-16, where they sent some components. According to this, X-16 is located in the production complex area by Lake Yenta. The scientists have set up a mobile lab around there, so maybe they can help. Oh yeah, the scientists, I bet they have some nice equipment. It ain't simple. You need to get to the scientists and find out where X-16 is, so you can get the missing documents. So, you up for it? I'm up for anything, Barkeep. All right, if he buys, he gave me an SVD. I hate to spend four grand, but I technically need two more of these for the dude upstairs. Nah, to hell that the armor covers it. Well, those are far cheaper than I thought they'd be. Standard hand grenade's more expensive than that. Wounding radius, 7.5. Damage, zero, zero, zero. What? That's buggy. Oh, that's neat. What I really need is a new variant of shotgun. All right, so this guy up here, Wanted... Vodka. Ой,хренов,это,документы,приготовил,только,чтобы,акциска,и,гост,на,месте,были. I think he's actually part of the main game, and I never noticed. Whoa. Southern roadblock, huh? Take a screenshot, I guess. Let's see. Southern road roadblock, turn left. There's a hobo. Uh, still behind the pipes. And he gave me... SKS Tactical. That on that. That on that. Make sure this is loaded. Drop those in my stash because I really don't have a use for them. As as much as I want something like that, I mean, my shotgun technically handles everything I need with its, uh, yeah, 92 accuracy. And I just prefer to have a shotgun. Alrighty, let's see if our corpse is out here. And he is. The manuscript. And a flash drive. The Wanderer's flash drive, part five of the information. Oh, hey. I completely forgot about those. Manuscript, huh? Bogunik. Mark of the zone. Okay, where the hell did it put them? Green Scorcher's man-made. Found PDAs. Maybe I wasn't supposed to read that. Guess I'll just hold on to it. I'll go back and talk to the drunk, see what he has to say. And that doesn't work, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I gotta go into the wild territory. I've gotta go... this way in order to get to the Yontar. And the scientists, which... I don't remember... any of that. Wow, that is way out there, what the hell? Uh, 
That is so far off the beaten path, it isn't even in the path. It won't even highlight. Hmm, maybe I gotta be in the Ontar for it to highlight. Oh well, no, that, do that doesn't make any sense, because I can highlight... Yeah, other ones. Uh, is that gonna be another one of them ones where I gotta stray way outside the zone's boundaries? Uh, most likely. I will be back. Alright, so it turns out that it's in, uh, the encyclopedia side of your database. Local folk folklore. There is so much in here that I'm gonna have to read through. Just, just, just because it adds. Mm, wow. Well, I will have to read through these on my own time. Well, the trader list is in here as well. Oh shit, I've been taking pictures of those. <laughs> what is the encyclopedia? The encyclopedia. All right, well, that's, that's interesting. I'm going to head off into the wild territory, I guess, as soon as, uh, who wanted me to kill Vampire again? I don't remember. Is somebody down here? I think it was down here. I think that was Barkeep. Yeah, uh, Vampire was, in the last video, he was the, uh, the guy loitering around here at the top of Cordon, at the door leading to the, the garbage. I took him out on my way through. Just popped him at range, ran past. Nobody else seemed to care. Nobody else missed him. Problem solved. So I'll be back when I'm heading into the wilds. Alrighty, it is time to uh, move into what I think is... I mean, this is called the Wild Territory, and if I remember correctly, back in the Cordon, we gave uh, a stalker some vodka to help him sleep. His name was, I believe, Tulik. And he said that he hit a stash out here in some bushes that recently became safe that lead to a workshop so supposedly he's got an enhanced modified assault rifle out here somewhere in the wild so i will be attempting to figure out where that is actually had to go back through my uh first video up to that point i even mentioned it's gonna be in my video no i had to go back to my own video to figure that out because i can't find it in the uh the diary the encyclopedia or the tasks So, I'm not really sure where it hid the information if you're just supposed to remember it, but I've got it on video, so to hell with it. I don't remember any of this. You want to have a pissing match over range? Because, uh, I am not the one to be fucked with! Oh wow, I missed quite a bit. Wolfhound, we've got visitors. Some stalker is coming right at us. What do we do? Don't you know what to do with witnesses? Finish him and make no fuss. I am not one to be... On it. I am not one to be fucked with, and I missed, like, four shots. Just whiffed them all. No point trying to look like a badass if you shoot like a dork. Guten Tag. Where are you at? There you are. He dipped, he ducked, he dived, and he dodged. There it is. I think they might have handled that one. Let's see if I can get a better uh, angle of attack on that one. Unless the AI is doing some funny things like moving. In which case, you know, bravo.
Just because I don't want to use my night vision too early. There's a corpse in here, and I may be using my night vision early. Whoa! Wait, the hell? Was that the... No shit. Oh, completely stumbled upon this. Where the hell am I now? Somebody's very angry with me. Yep, there he is. No. Bad. Or is this part of the normal game? I don't remember. I don't... I don't think this is. I think I'm quite literally outside the normal bounds. This is probably that workshop. But it said gates. Charge. Whoa. This has got to be what he was talking about. Don't I have one of these already? Yeah, I've got an AUG commando. Now I have an AUG commando for my AUG commando. I mean, I've got a backup to a backup. Well, this was neat, so how the hell do I get out of here now? Hello, Dobby is lost. Dobby would like to go home. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna trigger everything in the area. Don't shoot me. Oh, you bitch of a game! What have you done to me? No, oh, that looks safe. Where the hell am I? I might actually have to use a med kit. That is from behind me. You know, I'm gonna stay in here. I don't know why the hell I came in here. I feel like I'm missing a lot of things, cinematic things.
Here's an interesting thing in here. It's only in the floor. Because it's guarding a chest. What are the odds loot? Odds no loot. <laughs> hear them damn things screaming at me all right so there should be somebody upstairs wow this blue night vision makes things a hell of a lot easier yeah i thought you're still alive that's what you get for shooting me earlier dick bag i'm gonna eat your cheese curds i'll take your guns just to get your ammo Two flash artifacts, even this heavily encumbered. My endurance doesn't go down overly fast. So the game ambushed me in a wonderful way by dropping me into the center of all that gunfire. No, wrong button. I'd rather not waste meds if I don't have to. There's a body up there. What are the odds he's a seeker? Sorry, teller. Odds are good. I'll work on finding your stash later, later seeker. Right now, I need... Does that spot say I have a different look? No, it doesn't. Nice to know that barrel I blew up took out a lot of them with it. Yeah, he's using an AUG. Merc suit. I ain't gonna bother collecting it now. is located in here it seems like nothing is in here nope i don't know why i came in here well then i can only assume going that way is the correct way unless whoa Okay, so I do remember this. You don't want me to destroy the research results? Stay away from me. But I have a feeling that if I don't expedite this... Because there is a chimera out there. And that chimera is what I'm most afraid of. Chimera's eating well. Chimera's coming to eat well! Oh, shit! Electromera!
Why is there an Electro Mare running around? Fall down. I'm gonna eat these. I got an anti-rad artifact. It'll handle the reds. Uh, anti-rad. Mirror Electro Mara. These guys have money. Who am I to turn it down? All right, I don't want to set the scientists off too early if I can avoid it. He's got a rocket, huh? Okay, where's the RPG that goes to it? I want to get up here a little bit. So where is the scientist? Or is he dead dead? It says he's... Over there? No, that's a familiar rifle. Talk to crew log. See? On the other side of the wall. Oh yeah, crew log. There's crew log. Okay, yeah, I don't want to set him off yet. I want to explore. I want to do stuff. I want to. I want to finish looting. I want to finish gathering. Cause I'm pretty sure I already went through all these bodies, but I'm just gonna keep checking. All right, I'm going to explore around. I will be back. So as it turns out, some of Wolf's men are still out. Are still out here and they're wanting to play. They seem to think they're adults. Sneaky breaky. Or cheeky breaky. Bastards. Oh, also, um, yeah, I'm looking to, I, I'm looking for this currently. I picked the a body. Yeah, there's a Merc exoskeleton. Consider my curiosity peaked. So I upgrade to this and now I'm going with an exosuit. Okay. That was cool. Okay, he's gonna be right behind me. Oh, you bitch. Oh. I'm taking your damn knife. Oh, that was cool. I didn't know they could do that. He 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 was hunting my ass. Oh, he genuinely scared the shit out of me. I didn't know they could do that. Oh, I kind of hurt. Okay, that was neat. I thought I heard somebody walking when I stopped over here. Okay. He, uh... 
That guy, that guy earns everything he was getting paid. That was, uh... Oh, I'll admit it, that was badass. Holy shit. Yeah, 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 I thought I heard another one of you. Fool me once, shame on me, I ain't doing this shit again. What the shit was that? Have I, have I fallen into Wolf's Predator group? Yeah, no, that's not how that works. I'm taking, I'm taking all their stuff. I'm taking, I'm taking all of it. I'm. These guys have genuinely surprised me. This game has turned into a whole different ball game all of a sudden with Wolf's guys. I don't even know if I've successfully killed Wolf. But as far as I'm concerned, well done. That was genuinely startling, intimidating, and terrifying. I need to keep exploring, I'll be back. Ooh, still coming down from being, uh, hunted by that one dude. Boy, I'm... <laughs> all kinds of alive, but, uh, yeah, I found the, uh, the Merc exosuit. It's, uh... It's, um... Yeah, it's right here. So, um... Yeah, that's that's my new upgrade. Uh, let's just slap that on. Does it have the anomalous protection of everything else? No. Is it explosive, blo explosion, bulletproof, and uh, gives me carry weight? Yes. And does it give me a fifth artifact slot? Yes. I've lost telepathy in its entirety. So I'm going to have to go back at some point and get my helmet and put that on. Oh, it allows the user to run while the suit is equipped. Oh. Find the family rifle. Okay, family rifle, family rifle, tasks. Um... Lost in a place where bloodsuckers live, upload the coordinates, and be careful those bastards aren't joking. So I can only assume that's underground, down in the tunnels. Let's, uh, read Storyteller, see if his is out in this area. Oop. Nerves, huh? Yeah, unfortunately, dry is dead, and so is romantic. I put my backpack with my gear in one of the nooks behind the trailer on the path from bar to the wild territory. Don't forget. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll go find that. All right, I'm pretty sure I found it, but before I reveal it, um, I just noticed something while I was walking around. There is a very subtle, yet, uh... Well, other than the voices in the background, but there's a very subtle, uh, mechanized walking sound that this suit has. Like, it can't be heard right now, but... It's, it's very subtle, it's a... Uh... It, it's, it's a mechanical whine, like, you're literally in an exosuit, like you're part mech. It's pistons, gears, and stuff. It's, it's real nice, I, I admit. As a Mech Warrior fan, I love that. That, that. that impresses me. I have no idea if that's a natural sound or not, but yeah, right here, I think this is tourist suit. Oh, gives me more carry weight. An FN Scar Tactical. Uh, this will push us just about, ooh, to the upper tier. Kind 
kind of reminds me of the... I had to get out of that real quick because usually when, uh... Ooh, the sky's all jittery. Usually whenever you pick one of those up, you get ambushed. All right, so that is, um... That is Storyteller's stash. Alrighty. I'm down in this, uh, underground. I'm not too far from, uh... Krugelov. Basically, it's a little subway area, a little rail, or a little underground tunnel. What's his name? Gun his name's gun is right here. So yeah, once again, it's just another Taz. Good boy, my pup. Just checking on you. Unfortunately, I did have to put down the uh, other sunrise suit just because... Well, technically, nah, I'd rather... Uh, Yeah, I'd rather keep the scar for right now than my current body armor somewhere in the exo. But at least I'll be able to uh, turn in this mission at some point. So, I've got a small stash of equipment down there on a corpse. Time to uh, move on with the quest. I'm begging you. We were returning from Yantar when the Mercs shut down our helicopter. I heard that they are looking for information, but I know they will kill us. Yeah, probably. I'm begging you. We were returning from Yantar when the Mercs shut down our helicopter. I heard that they are looking for information, but I know they will kill us. Help you get back to the Yantar and barkeep will pay me. All right. Whatever you say, Margon. But you go first and I'll follow you. I'm a third rate fighter. So you'd better feel the ground yourself. Speaking of being a third rate fighter, we're being stalked. Oh, my scientist is just gone. Listen, this is not how teamwork works. You do not just run off. in the legs. Jackass just ran off on his own. This is how you get a team killed. Is way the hell out there. Way the hell. Probably a good thing I cleared a small chunk of this on my way through. You jagov. There's a burner anomaly heading the tunnel. We'd better split up and go one by one. That will give us a better chance to survive. You go first, and when I see you have reached the end of the tunnel, I'll follow. Beware of the fire traps and look out for hot air distortions. You run off again, and I'll kill you myself. Remember correctly, there's a bunch of undead guys in here burning. Yep.
Just barely seeing the distortions. Whoop. All right. I'll use my damn bolts. I'll use my damn bolts. Yeah, that's about how I remember that being. What do you see that I'm not seeing? Need to not do headshots with this thing. Need to stick to center mass. out here now what are the odds there's a seeker out this way somewhere all right Kruger's been led to the untar I bet. If you come to our mobile lab in Yantar, we'll give you a real scientist too. Whatever the hell that was. Anthromorphous. Syndromutus. Vulgaris. Trying to remember a lot of different words. Vulgar. Oh. Before I uh, go running too far, I'm going to explore around and see what I find. So I will be back. Yeah, it turns out I didn't have to explore very far to find another body of some kind. Say hello to Dry. I was just running the fence wall and stumbled across him. All right. What does Dry have for us? Oh, these are the other two PDAs I picked up.
stalker named Death. Well, that's kind of neat. I hope I run into him. As an old abandoned garage, there's a lot of junk and equipment in there. Squeezed between the trucks and got stuck. Barely made it out, but the straps of my backpack broke off and I left it lying in there somewhere. Alright, well, if there's one thing I've learned about this game is that all of these, well, the Seekers in general, all of their kits are in the zone that you find the Seeker in. I haven't, uh... What's that noise? I haven't um, found a seeker and had to go to a different zone, like the Yontar, to find his equipment. So I'm going to go back through the wild territories and see if I can find his stuff. It says there's a hangar with a lot of equipment and trucks and stuff, and I think I passed through one of them earlier. So, I'm going to uh, finish exploring around out here real quick, and then I will uh, be back. Or, I'll be back when I find uh, his pack. I changed my mind. I'm pretty close to the maximum of my weight limit again. I might as well just wait. I really I really might as well just wait. I'll go uh, stash what I can at the Ontar with the scientists and uh, hope for the best. And then I'll go back and find his stuff, because I said I'm pretty close to my max. Um. That's not a good sign. The rodent population is getting out of control. When I wander up here, will I be irradiated immediately? No, what I am is hella out of the zone. Oh, nope, I can't go any farther. Never mind, invisible wall. False alarm. All right, so what's the view like from up here? Ah, no view. I'm looking forward to Stalker 2 and it all being one continuously open world. Currently actually debating on buying their $105 uh, Ultimate Edition. As you know, I'm only three days out from the game's release, but I'm, I'm really debating it. Because there's, I'm not, I don't really have an interest in multiplayer stuff unless it's, you know, like maybe I could run around with a team of two or three people, like my uh, family. That kind of multiplayer I wouldn't mind, but I'm not, I have no interest in like the deathmatch or the capture the flag or whatever the hell they've got planned. I really probably won't have a whole lot of interest in it and probably won't use it. So a large chunk of what comes in these editions is stuff that you can move to multiplayer. I just, I really don't have any interest in that. I'd rather just be able to get the season pass and call it a day. But at the same time, these games are so good and the developer is just so good at what they do. And granted, they dissolved and came back. That, uh... I mean, the odds of them making a bad game should be astronomically low. And the fact that it's also coming out with its entire modding kit means that if there are any issues, the stalker modding community will pretty much almost instantaneously fix any and all issues, which I don't, I don't know why I'm debating it because I buy Bethesda games and Bethesda games always come out broken or half-assed or so underwhelmingly performing that I mean, we just keep buying them and then we wait for the modding community to fix them. I mean, if I can buy a Bethesda game, who's to say I can't just buy Stalker 2 for its full list and give this group their benefit of the doubt? 
I mean, if the mods for this game end up anything like this one or Anomaly or Gamma are. I can't really see a problem. I'm most likely going to buy the Ultimate Edition just to have it. And it's kind of like the physical copies. A lot of that stuff I won't ever use or hold on to. It's just something that'll collect dust. Ow. And... It's a lot of stuff that'll collect dust and such like that. Like, I'd never use the backpack or the anomaly lamp or... any of that other stuff. Make sure the area is secured before, uh... So the scientists have reinforced their entire perimeter all the way around. No gaps in it, like in Clear Sky. Of course, this was the first game, so... Guess I'll just get inside, see, uh... Sucker of. Ah, Vulture. I'm the whistleblower. so-called death trucks.
fish eye. And so I gotta get him a fish eye near the Yontar factory. I just gotta look for that, got it. I'll have to remember that's in here. Talk. That's right, I need to put this stuff down. Alright, what do you got for me, sucker Do you have anything better than my uh, mouse on a wheel? Hello? 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 SSP99 suit. Uh, hmm. <sighs> yes. Ah, oh, these suits look different. Kind of digging the look. Hey, yep, yeah, my suit is, uh, my, my, uh... <laughs> oh, I got upgraded well. All right, Sucker Off, let's do this. Hello? Hello? they are. How much ammo do I have? You know what? A little extra wouldn't hurt. Just, just put most of it back on. So they shouldn't be within the walls. They should all still be outside the walls. Can I climb up this? Oh, I can. So yeah, they're very close to the walls. Let me down. Let's go. Now, damn this scientist. Damn, there quite a few to the dome. Oh, all right, let me, uh, Let him get his reading. <laughs> oh. That was neat. <laughs> oh shit. This might be a little more difficult. Yep, nope, I don't know how I avoided that. Yeah, yeah, nope, that was neat though. Hey, let me get ahead, get ahead of you, Buckshot Queen.
Pretty sure that was a zombie. Uh... Oh, he's making my life difficult. Fine. We can't just leave him like that. Just leave him. There is nothing we can do for him. Blowout is minutes away. We won't get through with him. No, thank. I'm not leaving him. Uh. 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 Hang on. Let me get my bearings. I get my legs back under me. Let me, uh, get us safe. Uh, Alright, we look to still be safe. We've got to get out of here quick. Pick, Pick up your gun. Oh, he's healing himself. That's neat. Oh, fine. I'll take your gun. <laughs> Christ. Oh, you did pick up your gun this time. This is gonna be a whole thing with you, isn't it? Let me just get ahead of you, Bullet Queen. The fuck? I did that completely on accident. But there's a UI usage for healing items on the exo armor. I didn't know that. He's inside, safe and sound. No! was fun. That was a wily coyote clusterfuck. You Hello? did an excellent Hello? job. If the measurements are correct, the prototype should provide you with maximum protection from emission. Stalker, now you will be able to break through to laboratory, but unless you turn off the emitter, you won't last long even with the site protection on. We've estimated an approximate location of the emitter. It is located in an underground facility. I have marked the spot on your map. Vasiliev was working on the lab issue. 
about a week ago, he and a stalker called Ghost tried to get inside. A couple of hours later, we felt a major tremor, and after another hour, we picked up a signal from Vasiliev, coming from the swamp, but it died away. And Vasiliev died away with it, it would seem. Tried to find his corpse. He had the exact information on the lab and the way to get into it. There may even be info on deactivating that source of the emission. I've uploaded you all the data we have. Probably wouldn't help that uh, a former guy by the name of Scar, you know, fixed things and brought that down just a little bit. Wait, if he can do what now? Wait the hell on a second and a what? Greatly increases the muscular durability of the bearer. Boosts tear, rupture, hit resistance of the tissues. The tread has a high level of radioactivity. TDW. Heightens the Psi emission immunity. Capricorn's horn. Against bullets and blast waves. Hermes. Double faced artifact on one hand. It boosts the bearer's stamina, on the other, incinerates the tissue. Sponge protects against radiation excess temperature. Honeycomb neutralizes harmful effects of various toxins. Red Star promotes regeneration of vitality and boosts wound healing. Needs a soul, a mica, and a bloodsucker. Hey. And an eye. So needs a goldfish, a mica, and a controller's hand. Well, technically, I, I have chunks of this. I could technically make a red star. If I had a bloodsucker's tissue pattern, which I think is quite literally just their mouthpiece. Well, that's something to keep in mind. Hello? Hello? How about repairs? So you want slime. Does nobody Hello? do repairs Hello? for free? So, I'm helping the scientists. So I gotta search his corpse. Rarest artifacts, really? And I still have no idea what's in that one. I've gotta get outside the zone somehow to get to that one. So, my dear viewers, you know the drill. I will be back when I've either A, found something of interest, or B, come across something of interest, so... I'll be back. So, cause you can probably tell from my angriest of Geiger counters, I've punched through to the outside world, I'm now outside the map, I'm over this one. I can only assume whatever this is, is underground. Is uh, yeah, it's not out here as far as I can tell. So, fooey on that. So yeah, I'm gonna go over here to this chopper. Continue on with this main quest and get everything done. Since I basically explored just this little chunk and I don't want to go in here right now until I have the uh, side protection. Like you were affected by the scorcher. Alright, and then, uh, 
Get inside the lab, I guess. Well, I'm back in familiar territories. And, uh, yeah, that thing's here. There was a snork munching on a corpse in here. He got his ass blitzed. I am happy to have my blue night vision. It definitely makes things a little less, uh... Troubling for roaming around. As long as you've got your lights on, I can see you. Damn. Okay, I'm just missing now. now I'm just wasting ammo. Oh, shit. Somehow they didn't see me, but I seen them. Hey, battery. Not going to have another clear sky incident where uh, I run into ammo issues. I brought mm, relatively decent amount. It's going to stay on my screen now. There we go. Should be a blood sucker around here, I would assume. This many corpses? It'd be weird not to have something big over here. I was expecting a chimera. Fire's burning blue is kind of an interesting touch with this uh, night vision. It's neat the amount of difference there is in this place versus, uh, clear sky. I said it is all just kind of neat to see. That dude fell in head first and never recovered. And snorks are terrifying. I don't remember them having a breathing sound when they chased you. Ooh, what are you? Fish eye. Oh. That it? Oh, I was asked to find a fish eye. <laughs> well, I've got that to turn in, I guess. Yeah, be pissing off all kinds of people. is a snork on a roof and that is a snork flying that is a snork on the ground gotcha bitch gonna put yourself up like a beautiful skeet target I'm gonna take advantage
Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Look at you. All right. That's two good shots and I hear a third one breathing. Yep, bitch was closing in. Oh my god, they're raining off the roof! Where'd you go? I ain't done with all of you, I'm still hungry. You mouth breathing. F I see you over there. Round and round, snork around, spin around. I think I got him. Sons of bitchin' things were raining off the roof. I was not expecting that, man. Come out here, shoot that one. The three came raining off the roof. Like, what the shit? I have been thoroughly surprised way too many times as of late. I wonder if there's a seeker around here somewhere. I have to start looking harder. This place has thoroughly friggin' surprised me. That was a... There goes my hero! Goodbye. Well, I don't see anything on the roof. Ah. No, I didn't take any damage. Good. A lot of bones out here. <laughs> Angriest of Zeds. Snork! It's not Halloween. You people are not allowed to jump scare me. And a memo. Knock it off, you asshats. I swear I'm hearing a snork huffing and puffing his way towards me. That dude got run over by his APC. Wow, he lived. He took that pretty well. Oh, I can't go to the Red Forest. All right, I think I'm to that point where I'm just going to explore a little bit more. I'll be back. So I killed a bunch of snorks out here and completely missed this corpse. And I'm out re-looking around because I've got to break out of the game world in order to probably get to that uh, set of artifacts. So I basically got to go this way, break out through here and come around. But yeah, I found another uh, seeker. So let's see what he has to say.
Oat Swan's folder. Money, damn it. Nip Snorks are out here. Let's see, set up a stash near some pipe debris. I just want to make sure it doesn't get damp. Pipe debris, huh? Uh, pipe debris? I guess I'll uh, check the pipes. I'll be back if I find anything. So yeah, none of those pipes over on this side contained anything. So I'm checking these ones over here directly, you know, over here by the scientists. There's his stash. I'm making 700 millen. And what the hell is that? Explosives. And a detonator. Neat. Well, I'm gonna go stash this. And then I'm gonna break out of bounds and go get those artifacts. So I will be back. Oh yeah, I forgot I had this guy's eye. His artifact. No pick. Now, oh, how much time does that give me, I wonder? Because I am in... I am in no way, shape, or form ready to intercept somebody all the way out here. Flint, Hunter, Tasks. Find the agent from the unknown group. Was seen on the way from the army warehouses to the bar. No pick. Hurry. Okay. Well, I will give that a try later. UFOs and aliens, oh my. Hey, not that it's not neat. I don't know if that's part of the original game or not, but that's normally the way you get to the... Well, that's the way you get to the Red Forest in uh, Clear Sky. And as for that stash over there, I tried getting to it by going this way and around, and there's no stash over here, so I can only assume it's underground. Like that one, I can only assume is underground. I'm not sure. I'm going underground. I'm going to see what I find. And then I'll bring this video to a close. I had it in my inventory. It's right there. Hmm. Got both of them with one shot. This place looks familiar. Not nearly as big in clear sky, or as it is in clear sky, but these guys are the same. Where the hell did you come from? Game surprising me at every turn. Ah! Not what I wanted, but all right. Why am I not? Am I broken? No, you asshole.
There's a child loose on the plant. Double tap. I don't know what the hell it was, but it could stay dead. I love this shotgun so much. Damaged carcass. I blew its head off. Where the hell did he come from? Clear sky called. They want the shit they stole from this game back. I've just been collecting and hoarding those because, wow, I don't know when I'm going to need them. Yeah, I kind of did just roam through this area in the, uh, in clear sky. Just under the ambiance. Not that about 90% of this doesn't look fantastic. <laughs> Moo! Hello, Snorkman. Oh, no. Oh, you bitches. I did not anticipate them slamming a gate on me. No, I didn't anticipate that. I don't know where the, uh, corpses of those zombies went there's one and somebody lost a leg I don't know where the other one went well that's no fun There ain't shit in here, loot-wise. That's not ammo I need or use, but I guess. Well, not currently. Damn, it is dark. I'm missing anything, right? And I got staggered. I have to start just beelining away from them. Even in this armor, they are dangerous. Where are you at this time, you... Like biting asshole. Knock me out of my, uh. They knock my night vision off? <laughs> what the hell? Are they coming out of the ceiling? I need to figure out if they're dropping out of the roof. I'm going night vision. That's one. 
Where's the second one? Okay, that's the second one. And I don't even know where his body went. So now that they've got those snorks handled. I should be able to effectively handle whatever comes out of here. There's a burr. Whatever the hell that is! I've got a small child. Ah, oh, that burr is doing things to me. Alright, let's end that. The hell are you? Dwarf hand. All right. You know what? The hell that I'm using a scientific. I got these. Oh yeah. The uh Okay. The UI on the uh suit. Critical emissions. Leave the area immediately. Leave the area immediately, huh? I don't wanna. What if I'm collecting? So, shut this down by the looks of it. Alright. Something's on fire. There's a burner anomaly. There's a poltergeist running itself through fire. The hell with the poltergeist. Wait, I need to activate that. Those are handled. And this one. night. So what the hell? Uh-oh. Okay. So then this should be the last one I need to activate. Uh-oh. I'm going night-night time again. is so important why didn't you explain what you are going there for and where did where did you get this photo from if you only knew where i've just been and what i saw one day you'll finish badly strela <laughs> hold on son you're going to make it
All right, I'm back to life. I'm alive. And there's a lot more of these guys down here than there used to be. I want to kill everything. Enough of this. This video's gone on long enough. Will there be another controller in here? There is. Shotgun can jam. A shotgun can jam in such a way that it's empty. That is a burner anomaly. Ooh. Oh, okay. Is there, yeah. That corpse I was searching for was over here. Or the, not the corpse, the uh, stash. say i don't uh, i don't know why that played twice but it did all right grab these time to go Ammo I won't use. More scientific med kits. Those are always good. All right. Let's 
still all the way off the beaten. Nope. That's, I have no idea where that one is. Can't see shit, Captain. I find it hard to believe I'm having this much difficulty with snorks right now. I really do. That is... That is an attack chopper overhead. He made it through the fire somehow. all kinds of shit going on out there right now. Pulled my shot just a little too hard. Flicked my wrist just a little too hard. So I'm down here still. They seem to have my snork issues under control and no, I'm not ripping their legs off. I don't care. Not anymore. Shit. A oh, bad place to be stuck with one of these. Oh yeah, now you jam. Where'd he go? What's the matter, you all-terrain tank? You can't handle it? I don't remember there being a pseudo-giant down here. I don't remember you being down here at all. Too bad you're damaged. You know what? I'm done fighting with my... F Click. Click. Oh, maybe that's how I get to these artifacts. Oh, neat. Or maybe not. No, I don't want to leave. Not yet, anyways. I want those artifacts I don't know how to get to. 
Because they're behind a fence, and I don't know how to break out of the world enough to get to those. your gun I don't know how to get to those artifacts I will freely admit that I've tried figuring it out and it hasn't gone over well Swing back this way. Yeah, I think I can make something out of that. I think. I might be able to. There's, uh... on my task. Talk to Sakharov, okay. And then, uh, documents to barkeep, talk to guide. Gotta find guide. But yeah, I have a feeling that I can see them from here, which is that, but I have not found out how to break my way in. I thought I had a general idea, but I keep being hit with an invisible wall. Like, I can get over the fence and stuff, it's just I keep getting invisible walled. Maybe I just need to really, really break out of the world. Boy, that's annoying. Nope, too far. Just gotta migrate along this edge. Don't slip into the void, but also don't uh, slip outside the world. Yep. So now there's an invisible wall blocking me. Nope. Oh, hey, there's the UFO. Well, as long as I can get back into the, uh, the back rooms. It's kind of neat. It is a UFO. Is there anything I can do over here? There is not. As yeah, I can't. I uh... yeah, see. There's an invisible wall. Like even now, I'm blocked by it. So I've been running around trying to break into this area so that I can try and get down to those real artifacts and I'm basically about at the point of saying to hell with it. I was running along this wall 
stumbled over something. Say hello to another seeker. Say hello to Aboriginal. I stashed something northeast of the entrance to the factory under a small dry bush in the middle of three large trees. The zombies on the radiation will discourage anyone from poking around. Northeast, dry bush, three large trees. One, two, three. So there? Northeast of the... Eh, maybe. I'll uh, be back when I found it. Um... Small dry bush indeed. That's not a bush. That's, well, technically, I mean, no, it's a tree and a bush. But, uh, yeah, it's right here. Tree, 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 tree and a bush. It's, um, directly across. But I'm pretty sure that'll put me overweight. So, yeah, I thought I'd be unable to move. So this whole setup's been figured out. Not a whole lot I can drop. So I'll go sell stuff. I'll be back, and then I'm going to head into the bar, turn this quest in, and end the video. Hello? Hello? Make sure, make sure Professor uh, Sakharov doesn't have anything new to say. After all I've done, you still want a slime artifact. Hello? Hello? No rude. Oh, so I've got to go back down. Running through a lot of resources as of late. Um, almost out of batteries, too. All right, I guess I'm going back down into X16 to see what I find real quick, and then I'm going to go talk to Barkeep and end things, because I'm not just going to leave this area, so I'll be back. So, funny enough, I was uh, in the process of going down to the X16 lab, and my game crashed. It crashed so hard, it corrupted, like, five sets of quick saves that were made before I went down there. I had to manually reload to a hard save I'd made when I was trying to find out how to get to the that rare uh, those rare artifacts that stash and figure it out. So I had to reload back to a hard save. Came in here, talked to Sekarov, do his quest line again. Like you know, we're done. Hey, you've sent a team down to X16. I want to go down into X16 and take a look for you. <laughs> yeah, they've got that now. A sista, a sista, exoskeleton, which is basically like the super duper big brother of uh my current merc one it's got 10 additional carry as a ton more protection against burn electricity yeah it's basically got a bunch more protection against everything but explosion and bullet and even that is minor it's six percent and six percent not a huge difference. 
So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get my hands on that. It'll blow all my money, but I've been saving it for literally nothing else but this, so... The hell with it. Oh, technically I can't afford it. So yeah, I'll probably be buying that and rocking with that, because, uh... Yeah, an extra 35. So I said, it's basically everything my current Merc suit is. With 6% less than explosion and bullet. So yeah. I'll be back. Boop. I'll be back. Alright, looks like I found the team. Ah, one of these types. All right, let's go, dude. And it just ran out of battery. Good timing. Do they have anything else to say? Nobody. Nope. All right. The scientist helped this guy. Got it. There's the snorks I killed. I think we found the remains of your team. A free Velus detector. Pfft, shit. And that other bot. Figures that damn thing would be causing me. Oh no. Well, I need to go kill that real quick. Done. The controller, I like it. and dusted.
Говори. God, I don't normally carry a pistol. Walter P99. Hmm. Alright, that was short, sweet, simple, to the point. So, I'm gonna head back upstairs, turn this in, and then I'm gonna head to bar. Alright, let's see how this mission plays out. Um... Detectors of Rog. Oh. I forgot about this thing. Well, that's neat as shit. So funny enough, as I make my way back to the bar, this, uh, this anomaly detector, I don't know if it did it in the original game, but it detects, well, this artifact detector also now detects anomalies. I don't know if it did that in the original game, but when they ask how many fire anomalies did they put in this little gauntlet, they put all of them. They put every damn one of them. Look at all the dots. Just look at all of them. That is insane. To put this many burner anomalies. And the fact that all these anomalies have swapped up and... Because they weren't here before. Who the hell is that? Why do I feel like I'm in danger? Also, I swapped out my gun. Alright, who are you? It is currently 10-10. Stefan Cold. Oh, you're just a random. Who also happens to have a Velis. Never mind, Stefan, on your way. So, yeah, while I'm... Ooh, hey, an artifact. Whatever the hell that one is. There's an army of dogs in here. While I'm in here and gonna be fighting off dogs, I'm actually going to uh, look for that other stash from uh, that one seeker, because I found him, you know, back near where I came into the valley. His stuff is in here somewhere, I'm pretty sure, so. I'm gonna see if I can find it. I'll be back. All right, I'm on my way back. Um, Fighting through mercs that seem to have populated in this area. So the backpack I'm looking for is under... Yeah, this one, by the name of Death. So this is Dry's. His is right here. And it's kind of loaded. Too heavy, of course. Um, hmm. Well, I'm gonna burn one of these then. And, uh, get back. Oh, 
And it would be a shame if I didn't partake. But I'm gonna get a better view. Really? Nobody else wants to challenge me in my sniper position. Need a nap. I can't tell if those are good or bad. They look like plain stalkers. I'd rather not ruin my reputation by overzealously jumping the gun. That's handled. So I'm gonna get back, do what I need to do. Gave this dude back his family rifle. It's a little weight off me. We'll talk to Barkeep. Documents from X-16. Okay, Mark II. You've got the protective prototype, so you'll be safe from the emissions. I have the bunker coordinates. Don't forget that the prototype won't protect you forever. So you need to get to the bunker ASAP and turn off the burner. I don't know what will happen after that, but I am sure it will be worth it. The only thing we can be sure of is that the road to the zone center will be open. All you have to do is get inside the bunker below the antennas and switch them off. You in? Alright, so we got that, and here's this. I could have sworn I had a grenade launcher for this thing somewhere. Anyways, now that that's all done, I'm probably gonna get my character rested up. I've got a bunch of other side quests to do. I've got to... I'll turn out the Brain Scorcher is the main one. Meat Guide, eliminate the Mysterious Sniper, and a couple of other oddities, so... But until then, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any uh, comments, concerns, any lore you might know, or improvements you might wish to share, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and... If you happen to have liked everything, feel free to throw a like on the video. Um, I said, gonna keep refining how I make videos and what I do, and I don't know why it's so bright all of a sudden, but it is. I mean, it's daylight, but it's not nearly as, like, shadowy. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing what I can, and, you know, if any of that is work for you, I hope I've earned a subscription. So, see y'all in the next, uh, video. Bye.